him in. The Don wants you. Over in the comms tent. Yep. Thanks, Dill. Rudwell, LDF just put the boot in. They went all this fritz in 48 hours. 48 fucking hours. Never mind our permits for the roads aren't valid yet. Or, or, or the fact that the NMCCs are all choked. No, oh, ah. The Blue Elves want us gone. Cancel the exercises by all means. But this, this is suicide by logistics. I swear, if the Russians invade, it couldn't be too fucking soon. Listen, it's all hands on deck. Even the colonels out there, hitting corners. I need everyone to do the same. Not a problem, sir. He didn't let me finish. I need everyone, including that slack-ass corporal. Corporal Stipe. I love that I don't have to explain myself to you, specialist. But then I guess that's what makes you so special. He's on task, carting our literal shit over to the burn pit. And sorry to say, I want you to tag along. Stop him from getting on the business end of an MP's nightstick. Roger that. Things are tense enough as it is. The Livonian Defense Force have the accident area locked down. You know why? I just got the word. Highly toxic vapors. In addition to structural instability, that factory is sitting on a landfill of chemical crap. Methyl isocyanate. Apparently it's mere fucky stuff. LDF began evacuating Nodbor this morning, and the radius of effects only getting bigger. So, PPE will be mandatory from zero hundred hours. Oh, sir? Uh, Norad's on the line here. Patch it through the LC's office, would you, Keats? In the meantime, you're hauling ass. There's a loaded hammock over by the main gate. Hey, Major wants me with you. What? Are you his stoolie now? Okay, fine. I gotta ask a little favor first. The fuck you will, Jack. Last one I did for you got me NJP'd. <laughs> yeah. Could you just swing by the armory? Pick up my M-Spec device? I'd go myself, but, you know, reasons. I thought we were on a garbage run. Sure. But there's something I gotta do on route. Baker. Corporal Stipe wants his doohickey. Right. Spectrum device? There's one in the back of the Faraday gauge. Nice improv in here. You still expecting World War Three? Always, man. Doomsday clock. It's one minute two. I'm driving then. I'd say that's a reasonable assumption. You gonna give me directions or just be a prick all night? Directions? Oh, you really have been living the high life, haven't you, Rudd? Doesn't know how to get to the good old black goops bit. Follow the road, princess. <laughs> you mean the smell? Ah, there we go. That's the spirit.
So, what's this thing you gotta do? About that. Turn right. Oh, it's not through the roadblock. You think the Russians duped the drone? Factory? Come on, I don't want to keep going over that. Whoa! You're gonna smash into shit, you may as well let me drive. You want to tell me what we're doing? Hasn't anything struck you as kind of strange lately? Yeah. Life is strange. What's your point? My point? You hear that shit about a chemical leak? Yeah. You hear we got 48 hours to get our asses stateside? Yeah. Cause I'm hearing everything. Cause it's all out there, tingling on the airwaves, Rudd. You don't believe me? Try the spectrum device. You see the transmitter tower? Focus the triangular antenna at it. And, uh, switch to detail mode. On your screen, you got wavy lines. Waves, Jack. Yeah. Our electromagnetic sea. Now, in with those, there's a peak. That indicates activity. There's also a vertical bar. Slide that over to the signal while you're aiming at the source. Music. Huh. It's modulating the signal, too. That's not all. The LDF? They're using pretty basic encryption. Scramblers? Yeah, poor bastards. Hard as nails, dumb as planks. You cracked their comsec. In a way. I swiped a couple grams of modafinil from the medic supplies at Point Hopi, and exchanged it with a militia nut for the price of a genuine bluebell radio and its crypto key. Oh, Christ. Okay. So, go ahead. There ought to be some chatter, bouncing between whatever's going on at the factory and the burn pit, a short ways up the road. Oh, and yeah, don't forget to adjust the vertical frequency band. Otherwise all you'll get is static. You used to be a translator, right? You get any of that? They're not talking about an industrial disaster, are they? You think this is a cover-up? I asked around about the factory. There was never any landfill there. The Soviets built it on top of an old sawmill. 
And as for that thing we saw in the sinkhole, I got nothing. You hear that? Sounds like a helo. Moving target. Try and catch him as he comes over. Nicely done. I guess you're going somewhere with this. I need a wingman. No. No, what you need's a fall guy. You are the fall guy, Rudd. The blue on blue. The loss of face. The protest. The politics. If the DOD can't pin it all on Russia, who you think they're gonna come to next? The LT? Or the pissed off linguist? Last seen, on that day, on a roof, with a fucking drone jammer. Yeah, I was with you, jackass. Or did you forget? Nah, I didn't forget. Drive us to the burn pit. And don't sweat it, I got a plan. over by them containers. Oh, Jesus, that stench! Bet you can feel it coating up your lungs already, huh? Well, you got a choice. It's either step out of the cab and we shovel shit, or I run you through the plan, which I may add does not involve sucking in the sweet stuff. Okay. You in? Depends. You gonna get me killed? Not if you don't do anything stupid, I won't. Look, we're right next to the LDF's restricted zone. I'll distract the guards while you get near the factory. I made a load of notes on your map. Infill, exfill, plus a vantage point. You jimmy my footlocker to do that? <laughs> yeah. Fuck you very much. Yo, you're welcome. Soon as we hop out, beeline for the corner wall. There's a break which leads down into a gully. Uh, what's a gully? Six languages, and you don't know what a gully is. I'm disappointed. All right, so come on, let's do this. Hey, three vet. Yeah. Remind me why I'm doing this? Because you didn't want to play in Dookie. Or end up in prison. You probably speak Russian, right? I'm not a sleeper agent. No, I know. Just... don't shoot anyone. The Bluebells may be dicks, but, uh... They're fighting for the good guys. <laughs> the world really is up black and white for you. What? Never mind. Careful as you go down, and... If you got it on... Watch out for the flashlight on your Spectrum device. I'm gonna shake things up a little.
Stipe. Come in. Jack, talk to me. I'm hearing shots fired. Come in. Voice of diversion, ain't it? What the fuck did you just do? Relax, they're flanks. I chucked them in our crap barrel. Son of a bitch. Avoid roads and find a gap in their lines to sneak through. That bought you a small window of opportunity. Better use it. by now. If you're still following the gully, you gotta go uphill and right. There's some rocks and one of them buried pyro containers. Beyond that, you'll have a real good view of what's going on below. Jack, you ain't gonna believe this. You were right. It's a black site. The LDF are building a dome over the sinkhole. I fucking knew it. I've seen a place like this before. Okay, this is what you're gonna do. The Spectrum device, it auto-records by default. Get any intel you can. We're gonna blow this whole thing over. Lad. Protocol, they took mine too. Phones or phone calls in or out. They talk, use the radio. Stay in this channel. Switching frequencies, hell. Don't take too kindly to that. Alright, so main site, I guess you already know about. Can we only just discover it? Hell, over near the helipad. You're up to speed when the locals Update. get you in. This shit's getting stranger by the second. There's a Scottish guy here, and he mentioned there's a second site. On the hill, where Point Dakota was. I'm not far off. It's quiet. One truck, not many lights. I reckon half a click from the RV. Just check that fancy map of yours. You're saying you want me to go, scope it out? Sure, why not? Because it's crazy. I'll never get through the factory. So don't go around or cut through. I don't care. But you gotta get a look in at that other location. The answers we need are there, I know it.
alarms are going off. Nothing to do with me. You sure you didn't get spotted? Okay, wait. I got a view from here. Definitely a lot of movement. Yeah, something's got them on edge. Stay on track. If it ain't us, it's more chaos we can use. Jack, you copy? I'm here. What you got? Not a lot. Though I'm close to our zone of interest. Great. Listen, there's gonna be at least a few LDF guys on guard there. You'll need to get creative. The Spectrum device has a signal library. And in that library, there's a signal. A message from a jumped-up Bluebell Colonel. If we're lucky, we can deceive the sentries. Send them off fuck knows where. Station names haven't changed since the exercises. Grey Wolf still in command and everyone else is using the standard NATO alphabet. That squad out there? We just gotta find out who they are. And how do we do that? Should be easy. Bring up the signal library screen. Okay, I'm there. Switch to the music you recorded. If you send that signal in the direction of the squad on the company frequency, they'll radio HQ and report interference. That means you'll get to hear their call sign. You can then check the library again, see if there's an address to match their ID. If there is, use it. Same as with the music. Once they respond, select that movement order I told you about and relay it to them. Just don't broadcast shit randomly. If they realize they're the subject of electronic deception, they'll go dark. Same with the entire combat net. It all goes down. And we want to keep them talking. Exactly. But, uh, keep in mind, to hear both speakers in a conversation, you may have to redirect the device, unless they're more or less aligned. You can only detect what you're pointing at. There anything else I need to know? Yeah. And it's important. When impersonating a station, be careful about your background trajectory. You really don't want anyone receiving sent messages. It'll give the game away. Just transmit the music, listen for a response, pose as Grey Wolf, contact them specifically, and issue our fake command. Fine. Got it. I hit a rut. Then you can figure out how to make your own distraction. Delta to Shari Wilk, odbiór. Wilk, mówi Delta, odbiór. Runek, wschód. Szukaj śladów aktywności wroga, odbiór. Wilk, przyjąłem. Jedziemy tam, bez odbioru. It's me. I can't believe it. They bought it. Oh, ye of little faith. Once they're gone, get a look in. Sorry, no answers. The only questions. What? Knock it off with that mystic shit. Is it another one of those things? Yeah. They dug it up. Looks like they were doing tests on it, or some kind of fumigation. Can you cut a piece of it off and take it with you? <laughs> you can fuck right off if you think I'm gonna touch it. Okay. Can you lift a laptop or something? 
Too risky. But once they see stuff missing, they'll be on us. Shit, wait. I got a USB stick on a keychain. Yeah? Awesome. Access something. Copy-paste desktop folders and get them on it. Oh, no. There's a helo. I know! Bug out, I ain't kidding. Just another two seconds. didn't take down the fucking helicopter. Did you see what happened? No, negative. Power surge. All the lights are out, everywhere. Make like hell, north, head north. In the tree line, there's a ranger's cabin in the forest. You think it's a Russian offensive? Gotta be. Atmospheric EMP. It's that or they just went nuclear on us. Our radios? They're built for it. Keep moving, I'm gonna pop a flare. No, wait, you idiot, the LDF! You're gonna give away my position! torching the place now. Oh, that's a great idea, Jack. Start a fire. Let's kick back, roast some fucking marshmallows. It ain't my fault. Maybe we can help it spread, huh? Burn the whole goddamn world, yeah? Hey, it ain't my fault. Flare came down on the roof. Not your fault? Not your fault? How's this anything but your fault? Oh, if the price of stupid goes up five bucks a barrel, I'm drilling a hole in your head first, pal. Hey, asshole. Don't go shooting off fancy fighting words if you ain't got the brass neck to back them up. Mother of God! <laughs> 